Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I am really excited to film this video because it's a video I have not filmed in so long and it's a good old fashioned makeup haul. And I'm just really excited because this is what got me into YouTube. Haul videos and makeup and just the love of filming and I don't know, I haven't done a makeup haul in a while but I realized that I had bought a lot of things recently and I was like, I might as well do a little haul and show you what I bought. Well, some of these are new, some of these are old classics and some of these things are things that you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about. So I have stuff from the drugstore and from Sephora, so all over the place. I could do drugstore and I can do Sephora, but I think what I'm gonna do is like all face, all eyes, all lips sort of stuff. So I went kind of foundation crazy. I love foundations, I love trying new foundations, and I bought two. So I'll talk about the one I'm wearing today. And the one I'm wearing today is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, foundation and concealer two in one and my color is in 6.5 buttermilk and this has been on the market for a while I feel like I've heard a lot of people talk about this but for some reason I was never really interested in trying it and then I was at Sephora one day just walking by and I was like why not like so many people talk about this it must be good stuff apparently a drugstore dupe for this is the Milani conceal and perfect foundation which I have tried and honestly when I compare the two of them I feel like this one is a little bit more natural looking so what's really interesting about this foundation is that it comes on a big old wand and I'm not the biggest fan of the whole wand thing I don't know if they did this to be gimmicky or to make it seem like a giant foundation a uh, giant concealer maybe sometimes I'll dab it on my face sometimes I'll like rub it on my hand before for this foundation I like to apply it with a beauty blender just because it is you know a foundation and concealer in one so it does have way more coverage than say my other favorite foundation but I like to use a beauty blender a damp beauty blender or beauty sponge just to give it more of a natural look instead of more like worked in like with a brush. I am wearing it today. I think it looks really good and so far I really really like it and I don't think the price was bad either. The next foundation that I'm going to talk about is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and this is one of my all-time favorite foundations. You guys know I swear by this and I get compliments on my foundation when I'm wearing this more than any other. I realized I was running low on my last bottle that I think I purchased during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale and I decided to pick up another bottle but instead of the usual number Number six that I use I picked up 5.5 which is which is just a little bit lighter um, I think it'll be a good match I, we'll have to see I can't really tell much from it but I think that 5.5 might be better for me just because sometimes if I haven't tanned or if it's not summer and I don't have a little bit of a tan left over sometimes my skin it can be a little bit too dark so I'm hoping 5.5 is just a tad lighter but we shall see overall I love this foundation I love the consistency of this foundation it is the best it's my all-time favorite it is expensive I think it's around $70 but if you don't want to spend the $70 on this a similar one from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Pro Glow infallible Pro Glow I do like that one as well. Next we'll move on to something that I'm so excited about and this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base and this has Shea Butter, Vitamin C and E. So I sometimes if you're a YouTuber I'm sure you watch some of your old videos and you look at them and you're like I look so good there. I look way better there than I do now. What was I doing different? And so I started doing that because my skin was going crazy. I was having big outbreaks you guys know but I found a miracle product. My skin is like finally under control but I was looking at old videos and I was like what was I using at that time when my skin looked so good and the only thing I could think of that I had stopped using that maybe made a difference was the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have a little leftover in my first pot, but I used this all summer. My skin looks so good, and so I decided to repurchase this. This is not a cheap product. This is around, I think, $74, so it's not a cheap product, but I really do love it. And the way I like to use it is I use it before my makeup, after I wash my face, almost in place of a moisturizer. For my skin, if I use a moisturizer on top of this, I feel like it might be a little bit too heavy. So I like to use this in the morning in place of like a moisturizer. Um, if my skin's really dry, I'll use a moisturizer. It's incredible. I don't know if it's the vitamins in it or what, but it just makes my skin feel quenched and it makes everything apply smoother. And ever since I started using it again, my makeup I feel has looked better and it's just a great, great product. So it is expensive, but this is my second time buying it and I definitely would recommend it. If you, I know Sephora gives free samples, but considering that the tub that they'd give you a free sample in, like it's not like a pump, like people dig their fingers in to try it. I wouldn't get a sample from Sephora 
unless it's like in a packet because people probably like people have germs like you don't want to get your you don't want to put that on your face the next thing I want to talk about are two bronzers I've just been buying doubles I swear so the first thing is from physicians formula and I have seen so many ads for this and I was at Walmart yesterday and it was a really good day because chicken was on sale <laughs> chicken breasts were on sale so I was at Walmart and I wanted to check out the drugstore like area the makeup area and I love drugstore makeup I really love finding Finding gems at the drugstore I don't know it's like one of my favorite things and I've heard so many people talk about physicians formula but it's one of those brands that it's kind of hard for me because I know it's a drugstore brand so it's a little cheaper than Sephora but it is expensive on the drugstore side like this bronzer was $18 at Walmart so the items are still kind of pricey and in my mind I'm like if I'm paying $18 for a bronzer from Walmart why don't I just go buy a you know a $30 bronzer from Sephora but I really wanted to try it and you got you just got me with the packaging um, it says Muru Muru Butter Bronzer, Skin Loving Brazilian Bronzer, Ultra Rich Bronzer, delivers a tropical glow. It says it's ultra luxurious, infused with butter, like a Muru Muru Butter, and delivers a radiant Brazilian goddess glow. Oh my god, I can't talk. And, um,. It says, incredibly creamy and soft texture combines the best features of a powder and cream bronzer to, deserve, to deliver a lit from within glow. I used it today. Um, it also comes with a really nice mirror and it comes with a unique sponge applicator. I didn't use this um, for like all over my face, but what I did use it for was to contour my nose because I'm not the type of person that does like a heavy contour every day, but I do like to contour my nose just to give it a little bit of definition. So, um, and I really like the way it looks. I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm really happy with how my skin looks today, with how my, like, the bronzer looks. It just gives a really nice finish, to be honest. Like, it gives a really beautiful finish, not too heavy, um, and it's nice because the way, like, I would do it, if you guys wanna see it, well, I just did it get ready with me, but I, I have so many new products now. Um, the way I did it is just kinda went like this and then went bloop, 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 and it, it like, blended it out and it was great. Um, it does have a scent. To me, I love it. I love the smell of, you know, Hawaiian tropics. I love the smell of suntan oil. And so it doesn't bother me, but if you are sensitive to scents, this may bother you just because it does have a heavy, like, you know, like the nice suntan oil smell? That's kind of what it smells like. I'll talk about another two, another bronzer. This is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in the color Sweet Tea. Now, you all know I love the South and Sweet Tea. I mean, I don't really drink sweet tea, but uh, I would if I lived in the South. I heard from a few people that this product is very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Light Bronzer, which I bought like last year, a few years ago, my sister stole. I heard from a few people that this is very similar, like in the way it gives you just like a luminous glow. So I'm really happy that I have these sorts of bronzers because this one's more like what I would use to like contour. And what I really like about it is it says that there's like pearls, but I don't notice like a sheen in this. So I use this to contour. I use this, you know, to kind of fill in my cheekbones a little, but then I'll just take a light fluffy brush. My favorite one is by It Cosmetics and I'll link it down below since I didn't bring it. And this just gives an overall just like glow. And it's really, really nice. I would say it's pretty comparable to the Hourglass, uh, to the Hourglass bronzer, but instead of being like $60, it's like 30. I know this is going to be one of my favorite products for summer. The next two things I'm going to talk about are my Tarte Shape Tapes. I know a lot of Canadians like really want to get their hands on these and I got lucky because my sister gave me one and then I have a story about how I acquired this one, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. The Tarte Shape Tapes, are they worth the hype? Are they, you know, just a hyped up YouTube product? They are 100% worth the hype. I love them. I have the color light medium honey and medium. If you watch me and get ready with me, you can kind of see what I do, but I do a mixture. Like I'll put a little bit of light here and then I'll put a little bit of light and then I'll put a little bit of medium all through here. And it just gives you the most like beautiful under eye look. And I really would recommend this. They're not cakey. The coverage is outstanding. I'll link my get ready with me video, but honestly, some of the best concealers I've ever used. I've been reaching for these more than my Makeup Forever full cover concealer, which is telling you something. I need a coffee break. And then the last thing I bought is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. 
I used this when it first came out when I was in high school. My senior year of high school, I remember the first night I kissed Mike, um, I went to a party and I spritzed this all over my face and I was at my best friend Sierra's house and we, okay, like we were underage but we were drinking and I fell asleep and I didn't take off my makeup and in the morning my makeup still looked like I put it on like two hours ago. So this stuff really works. I kind of go back and forth with believing in setting sprays or being like they're just like a crock of shit but I truly have noticed a difference in the longevity of my makeup since I started using this again. This is just like the best one. I don't know. This is just like the cult classic. You can't go wrong with it. I just give myself like a good spritzing after I do my makeup and it just makes everything last longer. It's just better. Now we're going to move into eyes. Now eyes, eyes, eyes. I am very repetitive when it comes to eyes. You guys know this. I like my bronze shadow. I like my wings. I am... Um, I don't know. I like to stick to what I know. My all-time favorite eyeshadow is by Urban Decay and it's called Chase. So yeah, you can see I really, really loved it. And I was having a minor panic attack because um, one time I went to Sephora and it was nowhere to be found. It looked like it had been crossed off, that it was just like wiped from the shelves. It wasn't on Sephora online. It seemed like Urban Decay was pulling the rug from under us and that there was no more there was no more chase eyeshadow but then one of my viewers told me that she went to Ulta and they had chase there and luckily the only upside to having your best friend live in a different country is that she can go to Ulta and check to see if they have any so um at her Ulta they only had one but I was like if this is going extinct if this is you know extinct now I need at least three she ordered me some from Ulta and then she sent them to me and for Ulta like to get free shipping or something you needed to spend a certain amount so that's how I ended up getting this Sierra was the best and she picked me up three chase eyeshadows by Urban Decay so what I'm wearing today these are just the best bronze eyeshadows Ever run to Ulta and if you can't run then get someone to drive you to Ulta or order online I'll leave a link down below because this is the best bronze eyeshadow I don't mess around okay like this is just the best bronze eyeshadow it's not orangey in my opinion so many bronze eyeshadows can look orangey or they can just look gross on your eyelids but this just looks amazing all the time. The next two things I want to show you are some brow products. Now, as you guys know, I did get my eyebrows microbladed and I am very happy with my results. I might call them and see them if I can go in for another session just to darken them up just a little bit more, but I can't tell you how much time it has saved me. I used to have to sit there and like shape my brows and give my brows shape, but now I don't have to do any of that and it's such a time saver. I do sometimes like need to just like give a little bit more definition up here and up here, but that's all I need to do and I had my brand new Anastasia Brow Wiz but I don't know what I did with it so I picked up the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. This is my sister's favorite. She always talks about it and it's really good so far. I can't complain. Um, I got a comment on one of my videos that like you guys were close up in and she was like do you regret getting your brows microbladed? Like it doesn't look like you've had anything done. It just looks like your brows are full of hair. And I'm like, that's the exact, like that's exactly the point of getting your brows microbladed. If I came out looking like a chola with tattooed eyebrows, that would be a problem. But that was a really good compliment when she said my brows just look like they're full of hair. The next thing I got is this Brow Stylist Plumper by L'Oreal in the color medium brown, no medium to dark and this is just a I actually saw this in one of Christina Brawley's video but it's just a little lash I don't know what it's a brow gel mascara um, I have the thought I had the packaging this says achieve effortlessly full brows with the L'Oreal Paris brow stylist plumper this fiber infused brow gel mascara allows you to fill in and set for tinted thicker brows to last all day. I used it today and it did give color and I would recommend it so far. And I think it was like under $10 so you can't really go wrong. L'Oreal sent me these and um, I think they sent it to promote their new Voluminous Primer. Um, of course L'Oreal Voluminous is like an all time classic. This is the carbon black one but they did send the primer and I have to say I really do like the primer. It just picks up all your lashes and then once you apply your mascara your eyes just look thicker and more luxurious and I really do like this primer and you can't beat the price. The first thing I got is a Bite Beauty lip liner in the color number 12. Oh holy shit that's really pointy. Um, when I heard that Bite was coming out with lip liners I was really excited because I oh my god this I'm gonna love Tony and I don't know if you can see there but this is like beautiful. 
and it's so creamy. So I was really excited when Bite announced that they were gonna be coming out with lip pencils because the Bite Beauty Amuse Bush lipsticks are some of my all-time favorite lipsticks, and I knew that these would just be as creamy and delicious, and they were. So I got number 12. I feel like I'm gonna develop an addiction where I want all of them. Speaking of lip liners, I needed a good pencil sharpener. I know like it's one of those things that's annoying to buy, but I've heard so many good things about the Urban Decay Grindhouse, and I felt like I really needed a pencil sharpener um, that I could bring with me because all the pencil sharpeners I have now are the ones that don't have like a, a lid on them. So if I want to go anywhere, like if I need to sharpen a pencil, I need to be over the garbage or over a bag or like over a paper towel or something. So um, I think it was Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, who always talks about the Urban Decay Grindhouse. And so yeah, I ended up getting it. I think it was like around $12, but I'm sure I'll have this forever permitting I don't lose it and apparently it does a really amazing job of sharpening your pencils which I will I'm sure you're all like really looking forward to finding out and then the last thing I want to talk about is a lipstick and this is by Bare Minerals and I have to thank my friend Megan I'll leave her channel down below for talking about these all the time because she would always tell me girl you need to try these I don't know what they're called matte the matte lipsticks and I never like I was never a huge fan of like liquid lipsticks like even when the trend was like super popular I was never 100% into it just because I never liked the way they made my lips feel and I was like let me just try this she talks about it all the time and like her and I have very similar makeup taste and we're always sharing like our favorites and so finally I picked up her favorite color which is called Slay and I need to get these in like every color in my opinion they kind of have the staying power of a liquid lipstick but they feel like a regular lipstick and that's what I love about them it's just a really beautiful everyday nude I'm gonna go back and get some more just because I love the way they feel and I really need to look at the whole color selection a little bit more in depth and the last thing I want to talk to you about is a t3 hair tool they actually sent me this but I just like I need to rise advice okay I love the way my hair looks after I hot roll them for like 15 minutes and then it falls and I'm not saying I don't like the way it looks now because I like it because it gives my hair volume um, without being like beach waves or without being because honestly for me if my hair's not wavy if I don't curl it with my hot tools curling iron it's like straight like pin straight so I like the way this has like still gives me some volume almost like looks a little bit like a blowout and it's easy like once you get the hang of it it's easy so I'll pull my hair out and I never really do it on freshly washed hair, but I can't get them to stay very well. Like they always fall, no matter if I use a ton of hairspray, no matter like how long I let them heat up. So I don't know, what would you guys suggest? These are the first hot rollers that I've tried that I'm actually able to use successfully because I remember as a kid, my mom, like I would always try to use my mom's hot rollers and they never worked and companies would send me hot rollers and they never really worked. But these are the first ones that I can actually use and that I feel like they work. Like when my hair comes out, they look super Super, like voluminous and great and my hair still does have volume now like compared to how it normally is when it's straight and I do like the way this looks but if I want to have like the big waves what do I do what am I doing wrong so these are beautiful um, you can order extras what am I doing wrong do I need to hairspray before like what am I doing wrong so let me know if you have any suggestions or people who have been doing them for a while because um, right when I take them out they look really good they look very curly but then as they as my hair I guess falls like it, it falls to this which is fine I like it it's more volume than I normally have but I like a way to keep the curls a little bit longer uh, I feel like I've been talking non-stop forever so I'm gonna go ahead and go all the items that I talked about in this video will be listed down below along with my shades let me know if you guys like haul videos I I feel like I'm kind of doing like a throwback um, just because I haven't done a haul video in so long but I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you all so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and if you want to see more haul videos and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you soon bye